Welcome to Drunk Bible Study. This show's mission is to read every single word of the greatest story ever told. A warning to our listeners, the hosts of this show are sinners, but they're doing their best. There will be drinking and there may be some swears. They did say they'd try to keep it clean, but I wouldn't put my money on it. I'm Emily, and this is Drunk Bible Study, where my good friends, Dedeker and Jace, teach me a born and raised atheist all about the Bible. Uh, so word on the street is that we are all ready to drink today. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but yeah, we cocktails. certainly are. Yeah, best yeah. night of the week. Yeah. Heck yes. Seriously, love it. Yeah, and uh, hopefully everyone out there is staying warm and and staying okay because it is it is cold out there for a lot of the country for sure. Yeah, curl up with your podcast machine yeah. or your your live show machine and like a cat if you got them, and yeah. and keep yourself as toasty as possible, please. Yes. Now, what if you could rig up a machine that played podcasts from your cat? Whoa. So you could kind of be cuddling it. What are you even saying there? <laughs> what kind of... You know, that reminds me of, know. I think in the late 80s, when I was a very small child, I did have, what, I mean, what, what was it? A Teddy Ruxpin where you'd put like a cassette tape into it. Oh, and yeah, it I had one of those. Tell you the story. That's cute. Mm-hmm. Did you not have one of That's those, fun. Emily? I, I don't I don't believe so. I don't believe so. <laughs> Unless I remember being really into it as a child. Oh yeah. really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somehow fun. there was like yeah. a speaker inside of it and somehow like the mouth would animate and so you would get of course like a healthy dose of, of animatronic sound. Yeah. As you're listening to your mother goose story or whatever it is, but <laughs> Oh my goodness. No, I dug I it. So yeah, we just need the, the twenty twenty one version of that where your podcast player is also your cat. Yeah, there you go. We'll we'll figure that out. That, that's a, a patent worthy idea for sure. Yes. You know what, though? Now that you've talked about Teddy Ruxpin, I'm like a drunk Bible study Teddy Ruxpin that would like speak drunk Bible study to you. It's an amazing <laughs> Kind idea. of drunkenly. Yeah, I know. I love that. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Oh, my goodness. I'm willing to bet there's a whole world out there of people who have hacked Teddy Ruxpins to do unspeakable things. Oh, I'm sure. You're probably right. I, things that we definitely want to become on this podcast. I want to become oh one of those people. <laughs> I want to wow. become the one of those. The next pandemic project for Jace. Indeed. Oh, yeah, oh my. I am trying to remember what the heck we talked about last time. Um, mm-hmm. I'm seeing nudity. Yeah. Valley of vision. Yeah. Isaiah was nude for three years to make a point. Yeah. I, remember? Yes. yes. Yeah. It was performance yeah. art or something. I remember that I was talking about the hammock. Yeah, learned about the history of the hammock. Yeah. The history of the hammock. And I, I don't know, it's debatable that it ever was around during biblical times, but maybe it was. Maybe just they meant something else. Yeah, we did learn that hammock technology hammock technology came along later than this. More from we, the new it, world, really. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I was I, I don't know if actually a hammock was in the Bible, but they they wrote it in, so maybe it was a weird translation. Always possible. But that was fun. Isaiah just continues on his trip. Is what I'm getting out of this. Yeah. Yeah. So in this one, I, this last one, I felt like he was also kind of um, predicting more sort of political things that would be happening at the time. Mm-hmm. Like there was that whole thing about Eliakim replacing Shebna, the treasurer, which we learned in the bonus right. was stuff that we had read back in Second Kings and then kind of forgotten about. So it is kind of fun getting like little callbacks to those things. Yeah. I also got the image of Yahweh as like a strong, burly man who's going to roll you up in a ball and just like chuck you into the garbage. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I totally forgot about that. It's so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That sounds definitely like something that he would do for sure. I just, I picture The Rock doing it, you know, like cartoon, like the cartoon version of The Rock, you know, bundling someone up into a little ball. Of course. How can you not? Chucking him into the garbage. (laughs) He'd be so capable. He'd be so he capable of doing it. Just, it yeah, yeah, immediately exactly. it would take him nothing. It's very <laughs> impressive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, what are you two funny people drinking 
Funny people, eh? I guess I'm drinking a bourbon. That's the thing that's in the the carafe, right, Jace? The decanter? Yes. Yeah, there's a decanter oh, that just decanter? says podcast on that's, it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One. The podcast. Straight distilled the podcast, podcast decanter, is bourbon, right? Yes, I remember. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah, podcast yeah, this is bourbon. bourbon in here. I'm having the oh, same thing. Wow. So there it is. Podcast bourbon from a podcast carafe, but not in a podcast glass. I'm Ooh. having it in this sort of silly, like, I don't know, Celtic, not looking wow. glass i don't know it's one of those things that uh, my brother and his wife were saying they were gifted at one point when they got them they were like oh these like there's no way we'll use these and now they're like their favorite glasses they're really so, cool. they definitely look like someone picked them up out of the like dublin airport garbage. that's okay though mm, definitely like a gift shop airport but it sort of still thing. is yeah. like gift shop novel and cool yes. because it's not american you know Sure. I, I think it's beautiful. I like it very much. So even if it's at the garbage, it's Speaking okay. Speaking of novel and cool, what are you drinking, Emily? Yeah, I, I did. I went pretty novel and cool today. Look at my blue drink. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, it's not like the Curacao blue. I like blue. that it's like yeah. an icy blue and not that normal, just blue Curacao blue. No, it's yeah. not Curacao. It's blue spirulina. Oh, of course so, it is, Emily. Oh, my God. Yes, I, I knew know. that drink looked way healthier than it should. <laughs> yeah, it, it it's lavender and blue spirulina. So I almost made a matcha cocktail and I'm like, I yeah. want to sleep tonight. My cat woke me up really early this morning and I'm tired already, so I need to sleep. Mm. And so instead, I have this blue spirulina powder, and I made myself a blue spirulina Ooh. mojito. So all the other elements are, you know, rum and lime and mint and muddled with agave, but then also this beautiful color. It looks beautiful. It definitely so. looks like a drink someone in Star Wars is drinking. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's a good way to think exactly. about drinks. Exactly. No, I love it. It's great. <laughs> Whether or not people in Star Wars would drink them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, what are we doing? All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. Here we go. So today we're continuing on with the the wild and crazy world of Isaiah's prophecies <laughs> yep. as we read four chapters today, Isaiah 25 through 28. If you want to read along with us, you can go to drunkbiblestudy.com slash read and type in Isaiah 25-28. As we get started, we want to remind everyone to read responsibly and drink responsibly. You can drink along with us or you can listen while you're in the car. But please do not do both at the same time. With that, Isaiah 25. Yahweh, you're my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name. For you have done wonderful things, even counsels of old in faithfulness and truth. For you have made of a city a heap, of a fortified city a ruin, a palace of... And we're so excited about that. <laughs> like, so proud of you, Yahweh. Uh -huh. <laughs> a palace of strangers to be no city. It shall never be built. <laughs> It's like like an anti city, wow. a pre not I'm, even a pre city. Yeah. I'm sad that he didn't say, and you took that man and curled him up into a little ball and threw him in the garbage. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Therefore, shall a strong people glorify you. A city of awesome nations shall yeah. fear you. Yeah. For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a stronghold to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat, when the blast of the awesome ones is as a storm against the wall. <laughs> Who are these awesome ones? <laughs> Just the awesome nations, the awesome people and the awesome nations. These, yeah, these awesome people. Everything is everything yes. is awesome. As <laughs> they say. Yeah, everything yes. is awesome when you're dealing with yes. prophecies. There you go. Yeah, so I'm looking at the message here and it does, these awesome ones are the brutal oppressors. Oh, so awkward. And previously when it was talking about Yahweh being awesome was just like about being very powerful. So I think they're using awesome in that sense of just inspiring of awe, very powerful. Sure, 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 <laughs> sure. But that's, <laughs> that's not as interesting as it just being awesome. Okay. Awesome. As the heat in a dry place, will you bring down the noise of strangers? As the heat by the shade of a cloud, the song of the awesome one shall be brought low. 
Now, normally when like a temperature slowly lowers because of a cloud passing by, I don't think of that mm. as a very epic takedown, but we're getting poetic mm. here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like it. This mountain. These will... people are looking at the weather, so yeah. it's like really cool to them to just see the weather change. He didn't have. It's like their TV. He didn't have any like porcupines wandering around to inspire him. Oh, but... I wish. <laughs> mm, that's true. Oh my god. In this mountain will Yahweh of hosts make to all peoples a feast of fat things, a feast of wine on the lees, of fat things full of marrow. Of wine on the what? What's a yeah. lee? Of wine on the lees. L e e s. Of wine on the le- um, wines on the lees, well refined. Is it like a lees. like on the lee side, like, the lee of, like of the stone, like lee jeans, oh. like Levi jeans? Oh no, there are lee, lee jeans. jeans. You're right. Lee yes. jeans. Right. When I was a kid, we always had lee jeans and not Levi's because they were like the cheaper brand at mm-hmm. J C Penney or Got whatever it. it was. Got it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the the lee is like the downwind side of a rock yes. or something, right? The I'm looking it up. The sheltered side of something. <laughs> Just anything. Anything. Okay. Yes. We all watched The Secret of Nim. Yeah. When we were children. <gasps> that movie. That's, a, that's, a, that's where I learned Whoa. that word. Yes. The Secret of Nim. Well, I knew sure. because you said the Lee of the Stone. And I'm like, who says that other than that animated film? The Secret of Nim. Ugh. Now I want to watch that film again. It's good. The kind it's of an good. upsetting mm-hmm. book that I read as a child. It's a very upsetting film. It's much more upsetting even than the film. Got it. Oh. Got it. I read them both in fifth grade is when we did that one or fourth grade. You one of read those. and watched or you read? Yeah, we, we oh, read God. it. Actually, our teacher read it to us. It was like our story time every day. And then we also watched the movie at the end. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, he will destroy in this mountain the surface of the covering that covers all peoples and the veil that is spread over all nations. He has swallowed up death forever. And the Lord Yahweh will wipe away tears from off all faces. <laughs> That's nice of him. Oh, I'm just picturing the rock watch, walking around to each person. He's like, it's so, all right. So I just gentle. see like a giant rock hand. Just oh, like, in one fell swoop. What? Yeah, just, <laughs> so being, just doing this to the entire <laughs> earth. Just kind of messing up everybody's yeah. mascara at once. Exactly. They're like, ah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> Thanks, God. And the reproach of his people will he take away from off all the earth. For Yahweh has spoken it. It shall be said in that day, behold, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. This is Yahweh. Mm -hmm. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Yeah. For in the mountain will the hand of Yahweh rest and Moab shall be trodden down in his place. Even as straw is trodden down in the water of the dunghill. Gross. Wow. Can I can I read you the messages version of that? Yeah. What is what is okay. it? Okay. Uh, Hold on. Okay. Before you do, okay. I need okay. predictions of how Eugene is gonna mm. spice up the term dunghill. The dunghill. Mm. Uh, manure. The manure pile. Place. Probably man- or maybe yeah. the compost heap. You could see that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, that'd be fun. The, ses- yeah. the cesspool. I could see Eugene going there. Uh, okay. Points for Dedeker. The word cesspool yeah. does come up in this wow. translation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, give it to the us. The other one that we were looking for was sewage. That's the one you you missed got it. there. So got it's it. on Elisa, as got for it. the as for the Moabites, they'll be treated like trash, waste shoveled into a cesspool, thrash away as they will, like swimmers trying to stay afloat. They'll sink in the sewage. Ew! What? Yikes! Yeah, you kind of got um, ahead of me here, Jace. Okay. Okay. Continue on, continue on. He shall spread forth his hands in the midst of it as he who swims spreads forth his hands to swim. But <laughs> uh-huh. okay. Yahweh good. will good. lay low his pride together with the craft of his hands. Now, I'm glad you read that because I would not have gotten <laughs> gotten that image. No, that was better than what this was. <laughs> the high fortress of your walls has he brought down, laid low and brought to the ground, even to the dust. End of chapter. Wow. It's all like Yahweh is being good and Yahweh is doing terrible things to people. It's wiping like, away your tears with one hand and putting you in the toilet with the other. Exactly. He's making you swim through shit. Well, no, I think he's wiping away. He's like, shh, 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 shh. it's okay with one hand while the other hand is taking your enemies, crumpling them up and throwing he's them like, in the He's sewage. like a boyfriend in like an 80s movie. Where oh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna wipe away your tears, yeah. but also get back at those bullies mm. at the same time. Mm. 
mm-hmm. give him a swirly yeah. as it but at least here here that's what's happening yeah he's that's right he's drowning them in sewage by giving them a swirly <laughs> yikes uh, cool wow okay all right i'm gonna what continue on with the next chapter that was a short one okay here we go chapter 26 in that day shall this song be sung in the land of judah colon we built this city on rock and roll. Actually, that kind of works. We built this city on the rock and roll. Okay. Anyway. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sorry. The reason I started singing that is because the song actually goes like this. We have a strong city. Oh. Salvation will he appoint for walls and bulwarks. Do you think Lin-Manuel is singing this song right now? He's got to be, right? Definitely. Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. 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 Open the gates that the righteous nation which keeps faith may enter in. You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Finger guns there. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Trust in Yahweh forever. For in Yah, uh, Yahweh is an everlasting rock. Obviously. True. We know. True. We know that it is. <laughs> Can can somebody call him? Like, can somebody like let him know that an entire podcast is created upon his shoulders around him? Yes. <laughs> you, know, you know what though? Like, I'm I'm a little scared because there's always that fear of the Rock finds out and just publicly denounces this podcast. Oh, it's like this is terrible. Like Please everything. remove me from your show. Jeez. Oh, no. But we I love hope you. Him. I hope you wouldn't do that. Mm-mm. I hope you wouldn't. Do I mean, that. Mm-hmm. I've also been worried that Lynn might do that. I just don't know. I don't Lynn, know where come they. Come on, Lynn. Be cool, Lynn. We love you. <laughs> we sing your songs like every day. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. He, uh, so right. So Yah Yahweh is an everlasting rock, for sure. Put that on a shirt. I love like his his little his little diminutive name is Yah. Yah. <laughs> yeah. Hey Yah. Yah. What's up, up Yah? <laughs> for he has brought down those who dwell on high, the lofty city. He lays it low. He lays it low even to the ground. He brings it even to the dust. Mm. Whoa. This is definitely a Lin-Manuel Miranda could really rock this song here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The foot shall tread it down, even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy. Oh. The way of the just is uprightness. You that are upright do direct the path of the just. Yes, in the way of your judgments, Yahweh, we have waited for you. To your name, even to your memorial name, is the desire of our memorial soul. Memorial name. What's the memorial name? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let me see if Eugene has anything to say about yeah. this. What kind of name is that? The path of right living people is level. The leveler evens the road for the right living. We're in no hurry, God. <laughs> We're what? content to linger in the path signposted with your decisions. Where is this? Has I'm, nothing to do with memorial. Is that what he means by memorial? Posted. Like setting something up as a memorial, so you know, like a signpost. Okay. Or like a. Okay. Like a. I see. Yes, something. I like a freaking like a like signs of your I forgot name. The English, freaking sign. Not the English word. I can only think of the Japanese word, which is oh, ridiculous. Oh, what's the Japanese it's word? Like Nijirushi, like a. Landmark. That's what it is. Oh wow! <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> wow. That was that was interesting. That was impressive. Okay. Okay. So yes, your memorial name is desire of our soul. With my soul, have I desired you? In oh, the night? oh my. Oh, oh, oh have okay. you now. I mean, I get it. Cool. I get it. <laughs> it's the rock, after all. With my soul, have I desired you in the night? Yes. With my spirit, within me will I seek you earnestly. I'm loving this. (laughs) For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. Is Lin-Manuel hitting on God? Yeah, I think Uh, so. Definitely. This is is not the first time that we've gotten that vibe from Isaiah. Isaiah, Mm -hmm. like, Isaiah has some cojones to, like, go there, in my opinion, because God could be like, you know what, I'm done with you. And kill him immediately. I do think he's kind of got a special hmm. bond from among the prophets. Not like a David not, God. Definitely not, not. Not like a David Bond. Definitely not like a but... David God Bond, but maybe close. <laughs> yeah. He is a special boy. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. 
But do we remember who else called Yahweh Yah? Yah? I don't know. Wasn't it just Moses and then now Isaiah? Wait, Moses did? I thought it was just Isaiah. I don't remember no Yas. Yeah, we've come across okay. it once before. Well, I forget. Put it in the bonus. Anyway, so I wonder if that really shows that they're like the, the closest. Oh, yeah, because they're on the nickname basis. They have a special bond. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> As <laughs> <Exactly>. it were. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet he will not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal wrongfully and will not see the majesty of Yahweh. Yahweh, your hand is lifted up, yet they don't see, but they shall see your zeal for the people and be disappointed. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's true. Fire shall devour your Oh, good. Adversaries. We got the fire back. He does and love back that. Back to the fire. Yeah. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Yahweh, you will ordain peace for us, for you have also worked all our works for us. Yahweh, our God, other lords besides you have had dominion over us. But by you only will we make mention of your name. <laughs> okay. I didn't know where I was expecting. Got it. But when we're with you, we're only going to say your name. Don't even worry. They are dead. Whoa. They shall not live. They are deceased. They shall not rise. Therefore, have you visited and destroyed them and made all memory of them to perish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see you like, am, getting ready is, to say something. Are we talk? Okay, they mention other lords. Are we talking about human lords? Or are we talking about yeah. other gods? It is unclear. I feel like gods. What does Eugene say? Yeah, let's see what Eugene says. I just, I think we're getting into a little bit of a codependent relationship with Eugene, and it makes me nervous. What are you nervous about? Okay, what if, what if I read from the NIV instead? Would that help let's you? Try it. Feel better? Okay. Great. Other lords besides you have ruled over us. That doesn't Dang help. It. Back uh, to Eugene. Uh, <laughs> back to <NIV>. Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> always come crawling back to Eugene see codependent yeah. oh man he's done well for us he's he's been good to us I just feel like he's becoming the he fourth phantom laugh. you know what he makes us he's laugh the fourth phantom okay. host of this podcast mm. and that's not what I signed up for that is true okay he says oh god our god we've had other masters rule us okay whatever I don't even need to hear anymore let's just keep going still doesn't really <laughs> clarify because I you know, but but yeah no. okay no, I'm not getting the answers I want. You have increased the nation, O Yahweh. You have increased the nation. You are glorified. You have enlarged all the borders of this land. Yahweh, in trouble have they visited you. They poured out a prayer. <laughs> they poured, poured it out of what? Out. Like, they poured one pour out. A, yeah. Pour a glass for freedom? Raise a glass uh-huh. for what is freedom. It? Raise a glass but for freedom. Yeah. And, then pour, and then pour it. And then pour one out. Yeah. yeah. They poured Got out it. a prayer. When your chastening was on them, like as a woman with child who draws near the time of her delivery is in pain and cries out in her pangs, so we have been before you. Well, that's quite a quite a metaphor that we're drawing in here. Indeed, indeed. I feel like this is the third time that Isaiah has whipped out some sort of a childbirth metaphor, that's what, appropriated childbirth, or like pains. labor pains metaphor. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe, maybe you've seen a lot of children of his being birthed mm, that yeah. wasn't was that like a thing that what, people did back then I have babies <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not saying that i'm saying like were men involved in the birthing process because oh. movies say that like well, it kind of depends nah. on the culture right you want specifically this like hebrew culture around this did time did isaiah yes, watch any what babies I'm asking. get burned i don't know <laughs> Burned, born, <laughs> born, not burned. Although that happens in different parts of the Bible. Yeah. I'm assuming that childbirth makes you ritually unclean, and everyone involved probably makes For you ritually certain. unclean. Oh, I'm sure. So I imagine Everything that does. just from that logic, you probably wouldn't want to be involved as a man because it's going to make you ritually unclean, right? But but as we established way back in Leviticus, being ritually unclean isn't like bad necessarily you just have to take care of it before you go into the tabernacle right yeah. it's just you got a, a cooling off period and yeah so much. you get a debuff for a little while till it i don't know that's a good question totally. I'm the not master sure. sword needs to reject <laughs> yeah, exactly. i'm not sure what the yeah. values would be around yeah. being there at the birth of your child or not or if that's just kind of women's hmm. women's work and we leave them to it 
Yeah. Oh, I don't know. The values of being there hey, when your child Emily, is born. Th- okay. Like, I don't know. But, like, maybe there's. <laughs> Listen, I get it. No, My dad the thing, wasn't though, there in, when I was born. Okay. In like, I, I hear you. Culture, though, <laughs> the impetus of having the father of the child in the room during labor and delivery, that's only like. 70 years old maybe at most like (laughs) that's what i'm saying that's why i was asking like how does this guy know or is he just like Hmm. sitting there saying i'm sure he's aware of how babies are born he's just speculating (laughs) maybe Uh, maybe yahweh gave him that information there's also a time where if you're hold on okay this is also a time though where if you're giving birth you're not going to a hospital where it's like sheltered away from the eyes and ears of everyone. You're just giving birth at home. And so all the neighbors know what's going on. They know, they know Mm -hmm. what happens. So I don't know. Like, it's a part okay. of life. You can't. Well, I, I. Why are we talking about this? This the word. I'm not know, even. I'm, uh, we can move on. No, Isaiah is not ready to move on. We are not finished with this metaphor. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. Verse right, 18. Right. We have been with child. We have been in pain. I call bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> okay, okay. Help me on this next line here. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. Um. Okay. <laughs> like. I have a couple yeah. things in my mind about yeah. what that means, but I don't know if that pertains to what he's actually speaking uh-huh. of here. So he just to clarify here, he said, we have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. So we thought we were Semicolon. having childbirth pains and really it was just a fart. It was something else. Yeah, it was just some gas. It was a gas. It, it was she gassy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we we it's still going on we have not worked any deliverance in the earth neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen your dead shall live my dead bodies shall arise now okay the trip is kicking okay, in now God. Oh. awake my oh i think we're talking to the arise. dead bodies now to the zombies awake Whoa, okay, okay awake and sing you who dwell in the dust for your dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast forth the dead. Whoa. Whoa. Some like thriller, some thriller action going on here. He's having a bad part of the trip for sure. Yeah, he's, he's sitting yeah. in a corner crying right now. Come, my people, enter you into your chambers and shut your doors about you. Hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be passed. For behold... Yahweh comes forth out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. That really took a turn. And wow, scene, end of chapter. That's why all of these take a turn. They like start off peachy and then they end up deady. End up zombie. You know? <laughs> yeah, zombies. <laughs> zombie time. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Wow. That was wild. That was, that was something. All right. Yeah, Isaiah does not disappoint. Yeah, I will give really him that. Doesn't. I mean, it's not Thank boring. Not boring. Like Thank it's God not Leviticus. God, yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. Before we go on to this next chapter, we're going to take a quick moment to talk about how you can support this show and keep it coming to y'all out there so that we can finish this ding dang Bible. And we're back. I'm a little concerned because Jace, Jace what are you fell about? <laughs> during that intermission. What? <laughs> like, Jeez. I was coming back from the bathroom wow. and I just heard this <laughs> like, like horrible sound. Did you fall like, down the stairs? It sounded like you fell like down up the, the stairs. stairs. And I could not see no, what happened. I, I just had I... to yell to you to confirm whether you were okay and whether you were injured. You're like, no, I'm fine. So are you okay? Yikes. No, I I fell up the stairs, okay. so it's it's all right. Got it. My Got it. yeah, my brother's house where we're staying right now has a lot, a of, lot of stairs, stairs in this house. and one of them apparently was taller than my foot Ugh. thought it was, and so I tripped going up the okay. stairs. But it's all right. I did spill my drink a little bit, but I cleaned it up and refilled it, so everything's okay. good. As long as you're okay. Good. Just wanted good. to confirm. Glad, knock on glad wood. all is well. Yes. Knock on wood. Okay. I did knock on wood with, with all of my body. Every bone in yes. your body. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah. all right yeah. chapter 27 in that day 
Yahweh with his hard and great and strong sword. Wait, does it wait? Did it's you... always about <laughs> it's always phallic. Why is it always phallic? Wait, is that, did you actually did you make no, those words I didn't up or make did up you actually any read of those that? words? <laughs> those are all oh, real words. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, his hard, hard always and phallic. great and strong sword. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I will love that. <laughs> punish Leviathan, the swift serpent. And Leviathan, the crooked serpent, and he will kill the monster that is in the sea. So I guess these are all three distinct beings, the swift Leviathan, the crooked Leviathan, and uh, some sea monster. We don't know it's what like it is. It's like a crooked Leviathan. Yeah, it's like all janky and angular. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. In that yeah, day, okay. a vineyard of wine sing you to it. I, Yahweh, am its what? keeper. <laughs> You're huh? singing to a vineyard? This is... Uh, let me... Okay. Sounds about right. Let like, me just prepare where we're you. At here. This chapter is wacko. It's like like he's really peeking at this moment. Okay. Yeah. A vineyard of wine. Sing you to it. I, Yahweh, am its keeper. I will water it every moment. Lest any hurt it, <laughs> I will keep it night and day. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you kill houseplants <laughs> Yahweh that's how you get yeah, garbage seriously, grapes seriously don't over water yeah yeah for sure uh, <laughs> okay. wrath is not in me would that the briars and thorns were against me in battle I would march on them I would burn them together or else let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me yes let him make peace with me in days to come shall Jacob take root Jacob Israel shall <laughs> blossom and bud, and they shall fill the surface of the world with fruit. Has he struck them as he struck those who struck them? <laughs> Wait. Or has he struck those? Let me. I'll, who I'll struck them who hit him. The refrain Wait, kind of repeats, so maybe that'll uh, okay, help. Okay. 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 Or are they slain according to the slaughter of those who were slain by them? In measure. When you send them away, you do contend with them. He has removed them with his rough blast in the day of the east wind. Therefore. Wow. By Wow. Babe, this is the most sexual chapter. I don't know what's happening, Bible but okay. I've ever read. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's saying something. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So I also wanted to point out that trying to work out this whole slay of the slayers who were slayed by them. No, no joke audience, dear listener, before we started recording, the three of us on a whim looked up practice questions for the LSAT and like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we did. That was fun. That was, that to was fun. Them. Trying to figure out all these logic. Because Dedeker was, Dedeker was a logic tutor in college. And so we were, and my best friend is like a lawyer. And I was like, Dedeker, you could probably like take the LSAT. So we all so we pulled up, up practice questions, but this feels a little like that. The two questions, we got both of we them did. right. Yeah, it was so awesome. We're, we're practically lawyers already is yeah. what we're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, exactly. As soon like, as we without even out, trying. Yale, without even trying. Okay. First is Yale Divinity School, and then it's Yale School of Law. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yale no, drama. No, not Yale drama. <laughs> yeah, okay. We could probably get into that. Anyway, we're too. just saying we yeah. had a good warm up to trying to figure out these cool. logic puzzles, these very yeah. sexual logic puzzles that are in the Bible. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, by this shall the iniquity of Jacob be forgiven, and this is all the fruit of taking away his sin, that he makes all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, so that the Asherim and the sun images shall rise no more. For the fortified city is solitary, a habitation deserted and forsaken, like the wilderness. There shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down and consume the branches of it. When the boughs of it are withered, <laughs> there's more to this little parable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really want to read you some of the, of the message, but okay. go ahead and finish your When section the boughs there. of it are withered, they shall be broken off. The women shall come and set them on fire, for... 
It is a people of no understanding. Whoa. Therefore, he who made them will not have compassion on them, and he who formed them will show them no favor. Reading this, I feel like I am going crazy. <clears throat> yeah. So so did oh, Eugene. No. Eugene also went oh, a little no. bit crazy oh, reading this. Oh, of course he did. Of course. So <laughs> I love this. Okay. Um, Jacob's guilt was taken away. So I'm going back to where Emily said Jacob. The, the evidence that his sin is removed will be this, colon. He will tear down the alien altars. Whoa. So Whoa. it's all true. Even Eugene acknowledges. Well, he's saying yeah. it. He's saying, okay. he's saying the aliens wow, have it. Yeah. But now we're like taking down those altars, I guess. He's like, no, but we're so, going to put them <laughs> He will tear down the alien altars, take them apart stone by stone, and then crush the stones into gravel and clean out all the sex and religion oh, shrines. Yeah, okay, clean them out. Love, love those. Yeah. Mop them up. Our favorite sex and religion shrine. For there's nothing left of that pretentious grandeur. Nobody lives there anymore. It's unlivable. But <laughs> animals do just fine. I love this recurring theme. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Jeez. But, but animals do just fine browsing and bedding down and it's not a bad place to get firewood <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a eugene what eugene what eugene what <laughs> okay all right i'm gonna take this one home <laughs> what it okay. shall happen in that day that yahweh will <laughs> no no <laughs> no what it what? Shall, Read it. It shall happen in that day that Yahweh will beat off his fruit from the flesh. <laughs> of course he will. Of course he will. Yeah, he will. I mean, like, of course he will. It's what he's doing up there, enjoying himself. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Did a Chris a moment. Good. Okay. He will oh, beat off wow. his fruit. His fruit is in brackets, by the way. Um, okay. <laughs> his fruit. From his the fruit. flood of the okay. river to the brook of Egypt, and you shall be gathered one by one, you children of Israel. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, what are they saying? How will you not get a sexual innuendo from Yeah, because that? that's the question of like, okay, if I'm not thinking about the phrase beat off in a sexual context of maybe like beating off, like, I don't know, flies or something, I'm like beating off fruit from the flood of the river? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, uh, so Brie mentioned in the chat that in the NIV, instead of beat off, it says thresh. And so in that context, probably fruit oh, like means the, like, like the, the fruit of berry. a grain or something. Uh, oh, yeah. That makes sense but if you're still, beating it. Yeah. I've seen people do that. Yeah. Okay. Beat off. Yeah. <laughs> beat off the fruit of the loom, you know? Why did they, why did Web, <laughs> would W-E-B decide to do this? I love it. It's okay. Brilliant. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm actually kind of curious what the King James oh, yeah. version has to say about this. Oh um, yeah. What was that verse number? The verse number is twelve. Oh. It's even better. Oh. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, and ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. So it's the same exact thing. So they just ripped yeah, off King James. Basically. Yeah. But the King James is better. It's not, it's just, he's beating off into the stream of Egypt. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, he's beating uh, off, he's beating uh, off multiple right, places. Right. <laughs> like all over the place, just constantly. Okay. <laughs> beating off fruit, yes. Yeah. And you shall be gathered one by one, you mm -hmm. children of Israel. It shall happen in that day that a great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come who are ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and those who were outcasts in the land of Egypt, and they shall worship Yahweh in the holy mountain at Jerusalem. Done. There. Done. Emily. Wow. Go on. Got it. I just... <laughs> Finally, I get to speak this time around. Okay, let's see what happens. There's a chapter heading for this one in the NIV and the message. Oh, oh. Let, let's just okay. take a moment and compare these two. The chapter heading for this in the NIV is Woe to the Leaders of Ephraim and Judah. Now, the okay. chapter title in the message is God Will Speak in Baby Talk. <laughs> Excuse okay. me? All right. So just... 
Little baby Israelites. Oh, oh we're going to so cross your face cute. in. We're going to wrap meow, you up into a little throw ball. You in the garbage. Yay. Oh, Straight in the diaper I genie. Love you. I'm going to throw you in the garbage. Yay. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> wow. Apparently, we. God speaks in baby. So just like just what keep is that happening? in your mind as you start this chapter, and we'll we'll see if it's Got justified it. or not. Got it. Okay. Woe to the crown of pride of the drunkards of Ephraim, and to the fading flower of his glorious beauty, which is on the head of the fat valley of those who are overcome with wine! Exclamation yep. point. Present. So super, <laughs> super mm-hmm. drunk overcome people fat valley behold the lord has a mighty and strong one as a tempest of hail like Mm -hmm. hail a destroying storm as a tempest of mighty waters overflowing will he cast down to the earth with the hand the crown of pride of the drunkards of ephraim shall be trodden underfoot And the fading flower of his glorious beauty, which is on the head of the fat valley, shall be as the first ripe fig before the summer. Drink for repetition. Which, when he looks. Drink for figs? Do we drink for figs now? Because they keep coming up. We should, probably. I wish. Because they're all over the place. You gotta slam a fig Newton. Okay. Every time they mention a fig. (laughs) You've always gotta have a pack of fig Newton, Sandy. Are they vegan? Yeah. Do you know? Are those vegan? I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. Continue on. We'll, we'll find out. So, okay, yeah. Uh, the first striped fig before the summer. Wait, is that where I am? The crown pride of the drunkards of Ephraim shall be trodden underfoot, and the fading flower of his glorious beauty, which is on the head of the fat valley, shall be as the first striped fig again. before the Drink summer. Again for figs. Which, when he looks, yeah, okay, and yes, fig. Newtons, well, I think I read that they again. Are mostly vegan. No, I'm sorry. Mostly is not vegan. Most of the products. Most, most of, of them. them. Most are there of the varieties variety. of There are. Newtons? There's different fillings. Apparently in the past, more of them used to contain whey protein, but not anymore. So yeah, they're they're vegan. So double check, but they're probably vegan. Well, I want the like Do you have bougie, bougie ones that you got. Oh, I'm sure those are vegan. That have like yeah. less. Have, like, I think less we should try it. Yeah. And stuff. For... Well, I don't know how we would know. Get some fig newtons to, ha- to have just on have hand, them on, just, just in case, sort of... because I mean, okay, and just okay. whoever can I'll slam their fig newton the fastest find. wins, and whoever chokes to death and dies mm. loses. I can't speak and eat <laughs> at the good. same time. It's different than like drinking and eating uh, and drinking and speaking. Okay, okay, whatever. Okay, here we go. So the first ripe fig before the summer, which. When he who looks on it sees while it is yet in his hand. Exactly. Okay. They, they want us to do it. Nom, it's nom, just nom. Nom. Yeah. Yummy figgy. Isaiah told us <laughs> yeah, to do okay. it. We'll, 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 we'll get on that. Okay. We'll get on that. In that day, will Yahweh of hosts become a crown of glory and a diadem of beauty mm. to the residue of his people? The Gosh. residue mm, of his people? Yeah. Rough. And the, A spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment and strength to those who turn back the battle at the gate. Even these real with wine, and that's like real, like a R-E-E-L. Oh, yeah, that's good. Even these reel with wine and stagger with strong drink. The priest and the prophet reel with strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They stagger with strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. Yeah, everybody's people, feeling it. People are super so wasted. For all, oh boy, for all tables are full of vomit Ew. and filthiness. Yeah. Even, even yeah. we don't get this drunk. Yeah, Come yeah, on. I Multiple just remember that Come I don't guys. going to clubs at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a point in my life when I like first started as out as a young mm, Los mm-hmm. Angeles mm. person. We all go through yeah. that phase, and it's a terrible phase. The time has come and gone. Yeah, exactly. It was fun. <laughs> I met Aaron Paul. That was fun. And Some now we're never done that with phase. that. We're done with that. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. yeah, I will. I'm sorry for them. Okay, so that there is no place clean. (laughs) Whom will he teach knowledge and whom will he make to understand the message? Those who are weaned from the milk 
Whoa. and drawn from the breasts. Okay, okay. there's we're back. babies. Those are babies. Maybe we're going to talk to them. Yeah, multiple baby. He loves them babies. Okay, yeah, we're setting up the babies. So maybe the baby talk is shortly after. For it is precept. Precept? What is that word? Precipitous? Precept. precept? I mean, a, a precept is like a principle yeah. of something. Is this a different... I don't know. It just says, for it is precept on precept. <laughs> precept <laughs> on precept. Line on line. Line on line. A Here rule. a little. It's a rule. There a little. It's what a, a precept is a rule or a law. So like... So it's like laws on laws, okay, rules, like on rules, rules on rules. Yeah. On well, you rules. went on a Buddhist retreat. You had to take some okay. precepts. Um, you should remember this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah more that, more oh, precepts. We got to do more of those. That was so fun. <laughs> it was so good. I loved that. No, but by men of strange lips and with another language will he speak to the people to whom he said, this is rest. Give you rest to him who is weary. And this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. Therefore shall the word of Yahweh be to them precept on precept, precept on precept, line on line, line on line, here a little, there a little, that they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken. Why, hear the word of Yahweh, you scoffers, that rule this people that is in Jerusalem, because you have said, we have made a covenant with death and with Sheol are we at agreement when the overflowing scourge shall pass through. It shall not come to us for we have made lies our refuge and under falsehood we have hid ourselves. Therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh, behold, okay, wait, stop, stop, I pause, lay in pause for a moment. This what? has a new section heading in the message and also there were so many good things that just went by that I need oh. to read to you. Holy moly. Okay, well then so, tell us. Tell to us. live up to this thing of baby talk, that verse that you read over again about the precept on precept on precept kind of thing, this is what that yeah. is in the message. This is verse nine. Uh, and who do you think you are to teach us? Who are you to lord it over us? We're not babies in diapers to be talked down to by such as you. Da, 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 blah, 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 blah. There's a good little girl. That's a good little boy. You what? Cheated. What the heck? But that's... Eugene is just like... He's just going yeah. off the he's rails like, oh, here. I'm taking free license. If Isaiah, wow. this is how Isaiah's going to talk, yeah. I'm also going to just go hog wow. wild. God will speak to this people in baby talk, one syllable at a time, and he'll do it through foreign oppressors. He said before, this is the time and place to rest, to give rest to the weary. This is the place to lay down your burden, but they won't listen. So God will start over with the simple basics and address them in baby talk, one syllable at a time. Da, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That's a good little girl. That's what? a good little boy. And like toddlers, they will get up and fall down, get <laughs> bruised and confused and lost. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and it, 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 it keeps getting better. Now listen to God's message, you scoffers who rule this people in Jerusalem. You say, we've taken out good life insurance. <laughs> we have hedged all our bets, covered all our bases. A great Freaking life insurance Aflac, policy. Am I right? Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Aflac. No disaster can touch us. We've thought of everything. We're advised by the experts. We're set. <laughs> That's Aflac. So, okay, that was... That's, freaking wild it just oh really goodness. went off the rails with eugene this, there oh god we got to keep going i just it's just it's so much okay yeah <clears throat> okay okay we're getting there we're getting there this next section has a new heading the meaning of the stone the stone you mean the rock i, I don't know we'll find out yeah okay behold i lay in zion for a foundation a stone a tried stone a precious cornerstone of sure foundation. He who believes shall not be in haste. I will make justice the line and righteousness the plummet and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the water shall overflow the hiding place. Your covenant with death shall be annulled and your agreement with shield shall not stand when the overflowing scourge shall pass through 
then you shall be trodden down by that it. That thing about your yes. deal with Sheol will not stand or whatever, that's the, your precious mm-hmm. life insurance policy wasn't worth the paper it was written oh on. My you brought that, that back. That came back. <laughs> Do you think this happened at a time when Eugene himself was like looking into life insurance? Mm, and so it was top of mind. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he was like, she is. He's like, I'm making a lot of proceeds <laughs> off of this Bible, the message. So I need to like get a good old life insurance policy. Okay. Uh-huh. As often as it passes through, it shall take you for morning by morning. Shall it pass through by day and by night? And it shall be nothing but terror to understand Ooh. the message. Oh, the title of the book. <laughs> the title of the story. For the bed is shorter than a man oh. can stretch himself on it. Been there, And yeah. the covering narrow than, than that he can wrap himself oh, gosh. in it. I've had that fight with Jace many times. Mm, been there too. In bed. That sounds terrible. <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, it's a baby <laughs> bed. Yes, exactly. For Yahweh will rise up as on Mount... Perizim, he will be angry as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his work, his strange work, and bring to pass his act, his strange act. Now, therefore, well, at least we're calling it like it is. It's true, it is strange and weird. And, yeah. <laughs> now, therefore, don't you be scoffers, lest your bonds be made strong, for a decree of destruction have I heard from the Lord, Yahweh of hosts on the whole earth. Give your ear and hear my voice. Listen and hear my speech. Does he who plows to sow, 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 sow. sow. I'm assuming to sow seeds. Sow, plow continually. Does he continually open and harrow his ground? When he has leveled the surface of it, doesn't he cast abroad the dill? Like like the spice. Dill? Like like that you put in. Yeah. Yeah. Can confirm. Yeah, like Eugene a pickle. says, don't they scatter dill and spread cumin? <laughs> so yeah. Oh. And scatter the cumin and put uh-huh. in the wheat in rows and the barley in the anointed place and the spelt in the border of it. First, God does instruct him. All right. What does what? that say? All right. So- Wait, what? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Is that a word? All right. <laughs> All right. Not all right. Sorry. All right. Not, all right. All right. <laughs> I like that though. That's good. <laughs> I'm so. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right. And does teach him. For the dill are not threshed with the sharp threshing instrument, neither is a cart wheel turned about on the cumin, but the dill are beaten out with a staff and the cumin with a rod. Bread grain. Okay, I feel like we might need to do some research on kind of like agricultural growing techniques of dill and cumin because yeah, I didn't know that these things happen that me. you like beat it about. Bread grain is ground, for he will not always thresh it. He will not be always threshing it, and though the wheel of his cart and his horses scatter it, he does not grind it. This also comes forth from Yahweh of Hosts, who is wonderful in counsel. And excellent in wisdom. Is that it? Oh my god! Done. <gasps> wow, what a journey! <laughs> what? what? So many delights. Too many delights. Some that might say. That was amazing. I just so okay. Listen, like we've been on a rocking journey this whole <laughs> uh-huh. podcast because we've had moments of like, yeah, I understand <laughs> what's happening here, and I remember, like in Genesis, like you, you, you know the things that are occurring (laughs) and you've heard about them before but Isaiah (laughs) is not that (laughs) at all Job you're like okay this guy is lamenting yet again wow this is boring Leviticus you're like yeah okay thank you Ikea and this is not true. Isaiah is definitely something entirely (sighs) unto himself and that's great. It's just a whole new flavor that I don't think we really touched on in this book before. And it's a good flavor, a strange flavor, but a good flavor. Hmm. Like a Fig Newton. A strange but good flavor. Like a Fig Newton laced with psychedelics. Is a Fig... I... What? Okay, yeah. I don't know if I've had a Fig Newton in like 20 years like i can't some. recall a fig newton you're gonna get life. some because it's for our new 
We've added an eating game to our drinking game. <laughs> no, we should do like okay. what random okay. YouTube commentators do, which is like, I tried 20 different flavors of Fig Newton. Watch my 60-minute oh, yeah. video on that. Ew. I would watch. Ew. I would watch us do that. I'd be into it. I just want to eat some Fig Newtons, honestly, with all us talking about it. It sounds like the most delicious thing ever. And I'm sure they must have some very exotic flavors of Fig Newtons. Can we... Can we eat 20 different Fig Newtons, like the three of us collectively eat 20 Mm, different ones, but not like each of us eating 20. Uh, So that's what, six Fig Newtons per person? Yeah, that's better. Six to seven. That's better than, yeah. Okay. It's not so bad. All right. Well, we'll do some research on this. But before we wrap up this episode, it is time for... And now it's time for Silly Psalms with DBS, the part of the show where DBS comes out and reads some psalms. This is Psalm 5, everyone. For the chief musician with the flutes, a psalm by David, because, like, all of these are by David. Okay. Give ear to my words, Yahweh. Consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my king. And my God, for to you I do pray. Yahweh, in the morning shall you hear my voice. In the morning I will lay my requests before you. And we will watch expediently, expectantly. (laughs) Both of those. For you are not a God who is pleasure in wickedness. Yes, you are. Evil can't live with you. Mm. The arrogant shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You will destroy those who speak lies. Yahweh abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, in the abundance of your loving kindness, I will come into your house. I will bow toward your holy temple in reverence of you. Lead me, Yahweh, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. What does that mean? For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue. Hold them guilty, God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Thrust them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them always shout for joy, because you defend them. Let them also who love your name be joyful in you, for you will bless the righteous. Yahweh, you will surround him with favor as with a shield. Wow, beautiful. And now this is is Psalm 6. For the chief musician on stringed instruments upon the eight-stringed lyre. Oh, very specific. A psalm. Mm. Yeah, a psalm by David. Eight. Yahweh. Don't rebuke me in your anger, neither discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Yahweh, for I am faint. Yahweh, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul is also in great anguish. But you, Yahweh, how long? (laughs) Return, Yahweh, deliver my soul, and save me for your loving kindness's sake. For in death there is no memory of you. In Sheol... Who shall give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. Every night I flood my bed. Whoa. 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 Okay. Uh, Sorry to hear that. I drench my couch with my tears. Okay. My eye. It's just crying all over the place. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows old because of all my adversaries. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. For Yahweh has heard the voice of my weeping. Yahweh has heard my supplication. Yahweh accepts my prayer. May all my enemies be ashamed and dismayed. They shall turn back. They shall be disgraced suddenly. Yay. Wow. Good job, David. Whoa. <sighs> what? Flooding beds. <laughs> that was a Anytime lot. Anytime we bring in that job, imagery, Jay. it's always a fun time. Isn't flooding beds, I guess with... Yeah, I guess with tears, wow. but you know, I assumed he was like so scared he was. Yeah, that's the what bed. I. That's, that's where my brain went first I, too. But yeah, but he's like, yeah. oh, oh, it was because I, yeah. I was crying. Well, 
<laughs> yeah, that's good. I see. Yeah, every night. I see. Yeah, my so bed's much. not wet because I peed. So it's because I was crying so much. I, I put my face in the middle of the bed and I just just crying so so much so long. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, poor, poor, poor David. Wow. Poor David. All right. That's, All let's, let's bring this home. We got to go record a bonus episode. Try to look up some things. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Dedeker, it's you. Oh, it's me. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for Bible study today. If you want even more drunk Bible study, including ad free episodes, early releases, personal toasts on the show, and more, become one of our patrons at patreon.com slash drunk Bible study. If you enjoy the show, take a moment to subscribe and then write us a nice review on iTunes, letting other people know what you like about it. You can also join fellow listeners in the Drunk Bible Study Fans and Fellowship Facebook group. Find us on Twitter at Drunk Biblecast, on Instagram at Drunk Bible Study, or send us an email to info at drunkbiblestudy.com. Drunk Bible Study is created and produced by Jace Lindgren, Emily Matlack, and me, Dedeker Winston. Our theme song is Book Club by Josh and Anand from their album, Home of the The The. For more information, visit us at drunkbiblestudy.com. You know